Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. We have a lot of jailbreak updates this week which we will cover quickly without wasting time. So first of all if you are rocking an iPad 7 and you want a jailbreak for iOS 18.4 or higher you can check it out that Pangu OS is now being updated to support iOS 18.4. You can check out the new comment here yesterday as of making this video and if you check out the detail we have a lot of new comments being made to fix the support for iOS 18.4 and this is not fully determined but I think these fixes will also work for iOS 18.5 or higher. Once it is complete then Pale Rain jailbreak will be updated to support the latest iOS 18 version. It is regularly being improved or fixed July 3, June 24th. Next here is some good news for all your iPhone 5, your iPad 4 running iOS 10.x. We will be getting a brand new untitled jailbreak for iOS 10.3.4 or lower for all your 32-bit devices. The exact compatibility is to be determined and this is huge the last public untethered jailbreak was for ios 9 you can also see a complete demo you can get the same thing to untether up to ios 11 also this will only work for your 32-bit devices not for your 64-bit devices on ios 10 and currently there are no etas we should wait patiently for the developer to release this untethered jailbreak for ios 10. next up we have the ios 12.5.7 Retail breaking demo as it has been achieved on iOS 12.5.7 running on iOS 5s. So it is a WebKit retail break, which means that if you are jailbroken with Chimera and you restart your device, you don't need to re-sign the app every seven days. You will just use this WebKit retail break and be jailbroken again without a computer. This is also coming soon. Next up, we have this new iOS 14 untethered jailbreak with a demo right here you can check it out yourself it is 100 percent reliable and it works on all a7 to a9 and a11 devices this will also be released very soon once complete and for this demo you can see that it is running on iphone 6s and an iphone 7 next up if you want to downgrade your iphone 10 you can now do so using your blobs to restore to ios 14.3 to 15.7.2 and now for your ease it is now implemented into the legacy ios kit and i already made a complete guide on how to use the legacy ios kit to downgrade ios on your legacy devices for tethered downgrade jailbreaks and so on you'll find this complete guide for legacy ios kit in the description and you can use it to downgrade your iphone 10 with blobs to the versions we have discussed in the post next up on your older devices on ios 16 and ios 15 if you want the ios 26 control center with the liquid glass you can try it now you will have to jailbreak your device go to sources and you'll have to add this source now please note that it is currently in beta once complete it will most likely be available at the charis repo and you can check it out right here it is not complete the developer has to add more features and to refine it but you can see it looks great all the controls work from the repo and go to all categories and install this package called cc26 it is completely free before you install it make sure allocate and preference loader are also installed there are no extra settings to configure right now it just works so please try it for yourself that's all for this jailbreak update if i have more information to share i will definitely do it with you i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself